already said plenty about this trap and that summon Mary Carter here on Smokers Four. I even mentioned how this dog at the beginning that slowly disappears as the race goes. If you didn't know this, then you obviously didn't watch that video. And you should get over to my mind. Five, four, three, two, one's main channel. Or find it in a playlist on this channel. You'll like to see this track much more when you realize that you cannot assure a custom unlocks for your cart while riding around this track. I'd rather play this track on two screens than just one. At least the bottom screen can warn you when that stupid blue shell is going to screw you over, and so on and so forth. The original, pixelated version of this track with everything except the cards and characters being flat is the one I prefer because it didn't have this newfangled game and waterfall design to show. It only had a simple jump, and you kids should have been happy to have it, and not have taken it for granted. The freaking hat! This is a Mary Carta race track! Why can't you kids start spending so much time playing games and watching late streams and go outside and see the real world instead of seeing all these race tracks based on those places out there? But the real reason I'm complaining now is because of how Mary Carta took advantage of everyone that downloaded and played it by being another newfangled pay to win and catch again. But I will admit that this place looks nice. Maybe after this you kids really should be Visit this place for real to you or your parents can afford it unless you live there. In which case, good for you. Not that I give a crap. You call this a stadium? Back in my day, we didn't have all these flashy lights, cameras, and gun screens. The thin man and Yuffman's cousin must have a shared love of motocross to bull tracks like this. I will be happy if you click on burn and live it every week you I will stop complaining about crap when this late stream is over, and then you can catch me complaining about something else later. Seeker! They call this an island? Back in my day, we didn't have any newfangled racetracks that go out of their way to throw you around to different settings or try to cram so many different themes into a single lap. We were happy just racing around a simple flat track with corners and turns of all difficulties. Those newfangled glider sections are enough without a stupid target that you're supposed to adjust to trigger what should be a shortcut but falls short of such. Nintendo has added three Mary Carta tracks to the game instead of two in the fifth web. Just like in the fourth web, those big corporate heads never land. Yasha sure could be the last track of Mario Kart DS was dissatisfying, even more so than Bowser's Castle 64 in Mario Kart 1. I will be damned to hell at the very last Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track is a top track. It should be a rainbow road track or something. You call this a bathroom? Back in my day, we had regular sized bathrooms that we used only to relax and take care of personal business, which we did not fix with our accretion of any kind, especially not cart racing. You call this a cruise ship? Back in my day, cruise ships like this one were for rest and relaxation while traveling the world, and not for racing go-karts, believe it or not. They actually have go-kart racing on cruise ships in real life today, but that is beside the point. Cruise ships are for relaxation and traveling, not for racing around and disturbing the peace, you crazy kids. You could do some rest and relaxation yourself. Look at you, so worked up over nothing. My cruise ship now is a senior center for elders like you. Yeah. Army of it's soundproof and away from all carts and all stupid items. 